Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Create Some Flavor with Sam White's ID84. In this episode we are making chicken breast chopped in cubes with spinach, stir fry, curry, and all together. It's going to be fantastic, it's going to be very tasty, so stay tuned and make this superb food that we're going to eat with our family. Okay, let's go and let's start. You need a wok or a frying pan first of all. So let's put the wok on gas mark 2. So that's on the medium level gas, 180 will be absolutely fine. We're going to put the oil in, oil wise, two spoons full of olive oil or sunflower oil, whichever you have. We are going to make the curry very nice and simple. It's like more of a stir fry fry up, so you don't need to be a lot of oil into it. So put the gas mark up a bit more while you're cooking so gas mark 3 is absolutely fine so it's 180 as I was saying earlier it's absolutely fine now we're gonna put in now I'm gonna put the marinated chicken breast in I've got this uh, I've got about four or five chicken breasts chop them up into cubes put them in lemon juice for up to about two hours now it's all done I'm gonna put it in the wok I've added half a teaspoon of salt on this you don't need to add much, it's all depending on your own preference. Give it a stir so it mixes in with everything very nicely and effectively. So now we're going to add the muscles and the other ingredients in. Just adding a pinch of turmeric powder. So that basically gives you the fryness, gives you more yellow chicken rather than being pale and dull. So this gives it a bit more vibrancy. Give it a mix. So we need to leave the chicken about 3-4 minutes so it goes kind of a yellowy goldish finish so that will give it more aesthetic look rather than the flavour and the taste. So let's carry on. I'm using a 30cm wok, you can use a frying pan or a stir fry pan, whichever you like, it's absolutely fine. After the minutes over, we're going to put it on a lower gas, take the chicken out and put it on the plate. So we're doing this because we're gonna need to, to put other ingredients to cook as well. So like the onion and everything, the tomatoes and the chili. So we need that to cook on its own until we add it back with the chicken. So take it all out, put it on a plate and let it cool down for a little bit and we'll start cooking the other ingredients. Now after the wok's empty, put about five to six tablespoons of olive oil into the wok or the frying pan whichever you're using now we're gonna do some uh, frying we add a pinch of meti seed it's one of the best seeds to add create some flavor and everything so it's definitely one to go for so put it in the frying pan give it a stir that will give it more of a vibrant taste and everything now we're gonna add we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic paste if you don't have a paste, you can just buy it, put it in the blender, make it into a paste, give it a stir. So let all the ingredients infuse. Now we're going to add some sliced onion. I'm using, using two medium onions. I've chopped them up, sliced them and everything. So you need to chop them and slice and pop them in and give it a stir so it infuses with the metzi seed and the other ingredients we've added on. I'm going to add one teaspoon of ginger, pop that in again, carry on, give it a stir so it goes, infuses with the onion and the other ingredients. These are must have ingredients so it adds the flavour and makes it really really nice. So after the chicken you will really really enjoy this. So about after three minutes, keep on giving it a stir every few seconds and then we'll add the muscles and everything in for the chicken. I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. Again, this is all depending on taste. So if you do like it a bit more, add more. If you don't, it's all up to you. While this is cooking, leave it to gas mark three and over. So it's over 180 on the gas mark, so it should cook very nicely and we just need to wait for the onion to go more of a golden sesame to golden brown 
so that is the best temperature it should be at. So now after everything's gone golden brown, put the gas down to gas mark 2. Now we're going to add the turmeric powder, half a teaspoon, pop it in. I'm adding one and a half teaspoon of chili powder. This is all depending on your own taste. So if you do like it spicy, add more. If you don't, don't add any. Adding one teaspoon of jira powder. That will give it more of a silky delicateness to it. These are ingredients you can find in any supermarket or any store. One teaspoon of coriander powder as well. So all these muscles, if you've seen my other episode, I'm using these all the time because these will make the chicken very nice. And half a teaspoon of curry powder. So give it a stir so, so everything doesn't burn. I'm gonna add some water so it liquefies so it doesn't burn on your wok or stir fry. So I'm adding two cups of water. That will be absolutely fine. That will infuse all the ingredients together. So while this is cooking, always keep it to a lower temperature. Gas mark two will be absolutely fine because we don't want all the ingredients to burn. Now I'm gonna add some cinnamon and some cardamom. A pinch of cinnamon and cardamom will be fine. Cardamom wise, I'm putting about three or four. Cinnamon is two pieces, so it's you've got the whole piece. Just chop it and pop it in. Now I'm gonna add gonna add bay leaf in. So all of these ingredients make it a proper Asian curry rather than being a standard just a stir fry or anything like that. So it's a proper curry now. So all the bay leaves wise that will basically tone down the vibrancy, tone bit, tone it down a bit. So it's not too hot, it's not too mild. It's balanced really nice. So after it's gone really brown, put a lid back on and we're gonna leave it for for about three four minutes then we'll come back to it so while this is cooking put this on gas mark free and let it cook and marinate and don't forget to give it a little stir every few minutes because if you don't do that it will burn and I think everyone knows that but give it a stir every few seconds after three four minutes it's gone all brown and it's gone all squidgy and delicate. Now I'm going to add some tomatoes. I'm using one whole tomato. I've chopped them up and just drop it into the pan and give it a stir so it infuses and everything. Now all you need to do add the chicken back on. So you've got all the chicken here in the little pan. Drop it all in. Put it in with the tomato and the onion and everything. Give it a stir so it infuses and combines with the curry and everything so we are going to leave this for now after the stir we're going to leave it for at least five minutes and then we're going to add the spinach ingredient in so that it makes the breast chicken cubes with spinach curry now we're going to add uh, the spinach in drop it all in spinach wise it only takes about two minutes to cook with the chicken so drop it in, put as much as you want. I'm using the baby spinach. You can use the adult or different ones. It's all up to you, it depends on where you get it from. So after that, I'm gonna add a few more green chilies. And with green chilies wise, I'm gonna use about four or five. Again, this depends on how potent you like it. If you like it delicate, don't add any. If you like it hot, add more. It's all up to you. With this I've left it as gas mark 2, so low gas will be absolutely fine. Stir it, let it mix all in, leave it for 2 minutes and you're done. Now you just need to plate up and enjoy. If you have enjoyed this episode of Create Your Flavour, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and rate and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye everybody. See you later, bye bye.